Well, being 7.30 by my Good. other clock, I think we'll get going on this meeting. I know Ryan said he was landing and was going to join our meeting. Um, well, quite a pass, though. Yeah, 15 yeah so he's he's kind of on, a, on an edge there. So since I'm here, let's get it done. Danielle, I'm going to give it to you. What do we got? We got uh, extension for Cedar Street. They've just requested another year um, to be able to continue work on that division. <clears throat> All right. I did notice one thing in the motion. It's uh, it's going to give them like no time because it says 10, 3, 22. Oh, oh. make that so, 23. <laughs> yeah. So if yeah. whoever reads that motion, make it 23, please. Okay. Um, Thanks for that. <laughs> that's all right. I can read it if we have enough to vote on it right now. If you yeah, we to. do. We only need three. Okay, Mr. Chairman. Mr. I vote that the Kim <laughs> Sorry, I can run off. Wait, what yeah. was that, Warren? You were going to say something? No, no, Scott, go ahead. Um, all right, on. sorry. <laughs> go ahead, David. Yep, I move that the Community Planning Commission vote to grant the requested extension time to complete the 35 Cedar Street definitive subdivision in parentheses, including the binder, utilities and drainage for one year until October 2nd, 2023. I have a motion is, I have a motion in the second. Is there any discussion? So one thing, Danielle, maybe when you send this, this is from me, um, that they need to get it, get it going this year. Okay. You know, this is the second extension which means we saw them, what, three years ago, four years ago now, right? Yeah, well, I think one of the things that happened is, as you all know, that the <coughs> whole cost of doing business went through the roof. Oh, and yeah. They, and first, first, first they had the pandemic right after that, and then they had the cost of everything going through the roof. And so I know of more than a couple contractors who are holding their water, if you will, a little bit, waiting for yep. things to calm down. No, I understand that. And, that, and that's fine. They, but they did say they were going to cut trees. That was in the, the letter to Danielle, that they were getting ready to cut trees down and, and get going. So once you start doing that, now you've just changed everything for water. Um, right. You know, you, you, you just can't just do that. You got to get in there now and, and put the roadway in and get the, the catch basins in and operable, not all silted, you know, covered over so they don't work. Mm -hmm. um and, and you know get and get moving on their subdivision we don't right. need it that's a wet area too yeah well because pretty dry a, year this year so this is the year to do it yeah it is a dry year but any any of this yeah. rain now is just coming right off the wall off the land it's not going yeah in. the land is everything is so dry chris i think i'm <sighs> stuck in it right so as long as it's not a hard rain last night's rain though it came down and it i it, it went right down uh swan pond road yep. it rained so hard because it rained oh, really yeah, hard yeah. Last night it, was, it was a really hard rain yep yeah you know, and it didn't have enough time to get everything uh the ground woken up yet either yeah, yeah um yeah. you know the rain we got last week that was gentle rain gentle rain gentle rain and it stopped and it started that's perfect rain to to get the soils moist and get them to do their job but last night yeah. was just tough that's that's why i just like to see them get it going yep okay any other discussion other than myself? Hearing then, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Jeremiah, you want to? Yeah. Do we need a aye. roll call since we're on Zoom? Or? Uh, yeah, we, we do. do. You're, you're correct, David. Yep. David Rudloff. Aye. Uh, Warren Pierce. Aye. Christopher Hayden. Aye. And Jeremiah, you missed a motion. Um, I think you're going to have to. Not vote on this. Am I right, Danielle? Um, unless you want to say the motion again, it's up to you. <laughs> I can read it again, Mr. Chairman, if you want. Go ahead, David. Yeah, Ryan. I moved that. Well, sorry. Yeah, oh, is that okay, Ryan good. down there in the green? Good. Oh, great. Okay, good. I move that the Community Planning Commission vote to grant the requested extension time to complete the 35 Cedar Street definitive subdivision for one year until October 2nd, 2023. I'll second it. All right, so I have a motion and a second. Um, Ryan, any questions? No, sir. Jeremiah? No. Okay, so I'll, I'll do a roll call vote again. 
All those in favor, please say aye. David? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Warren Pierce? Aye. Jeremiah Johnston? Aye. Ryan? Aye. And Chris Hayden, aye. All right, so that extension is passed. All right, Danielle, what do we have? We have a couple uh, um, minutes um, yes, that are up. Minutes. Right, Ryan, do you have any of this in front of you? No, what I apologize, we... I'm on the road. Yeah. I don't have it in front of me. Okay, uh, David, would you please read the motions for that, for the minutes? Yep. Uh, or make them, make them up as you uh, can. October, so yeah. <laughs> I move to accept the Community Planning Commission meeting minutes dated August 16th, 2022. I have a Thank motion, you. is there, and is second by Mr. Pierce. All those in favor, are, are there any, any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 David? Aye. Warren? Aye. Jeremiah? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Chris Hayden? Aye. All right, so August the 16th is passed. Mr. Redloff? Here. Yep. Okay, I move that the Community Planning Commission vote to approve its meeting minutes dated August 30th, 2022. And I'll second it. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 David? Aye. Warren? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Jeremiah? Aye. And Chris says aye. Uh, that motion has passed. All right, Danielle, we got zoning board. Yeah, so the ZBA applications aren't as complete as they normally are. I think Kathy was eager to get them to us, but not all the information had actually been received. She just wanted to get them to us um, so that we would have an opportunity to comment. Some of them are a little bit difficult to read though and understand what's proposed. So um, uh, there is a brief um, explanation of, of each of them. Um, so if you do feel that you'd like to offer comment on any of them, we, we, we can do that. If you don't feel you have enough information, you certainly do not have to. So uh, go ahead, David, you're gonna say something? Mr. Well, Mr. Chairman, I was just gonna say, um, I, I think two of them look pretty straightforward. One is, uh, special permit to raise chickens. That's the 407 Park Street. Um, I looked at the aerial, you know, the houses are kind of a little spread out from that location. And obviously the ZBA is going to review that and use, uh, apply their, their rules and regs. But the other one was 37 Southwick. It looked like it's a home occupation, business related. Again, they look pretty straightforward. Um, it's the it's the other ones I think that lack some information that, as Daniel said, um, so I think um, that's my that's my brief on uh, the ones that I see in front of me. I think five of them. Okay, so you 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 think uh, for um, that Southwick and the other one, four hundred seven Park Street, um, neighbors. Yeah, I think it, I think um, yeah, exactly, neighbors, and and that would be unless anyone else um, disagrees in reading through these, the other ones we, um, so the 33 Lakeside Boulevard, Martin's Pond one, we need more information, I think. Um, and Danielle can maybe help me there. And then the 340 Main Street, which is like the pain auto center, you know, down at the edge of town. That yeah, one yeah. we also need more information on. Um, and then there's the, uh, well, there's the 197 Main Street, but I think you guys actually uh, granted the request for minor modification um, last on the last meeting. In reading the meeting minutes, I wasn't present for the thirtieth, but I read the I read the meeting minutes, of course, to, in order to approve them. And it and it shows the uh, you granted the request for minor modification. I think in the fencing, and that's the Andreas House of Pizza address, one ninety seven Main Street. Right. Also on the four hundred seven Park Street, we uh, need to remind them no roosters. 
roosters. No roosters. Yes. <laughs> no roosters. Yeah, I, I got to see that. There's that we had a we had a chicken one uh, uh, at the meeting on Thursday, and I they're they're big on the no roosters. Yeah, real real important and have no roosters. I don't know if anybody's been around a rooster. They don't crow just at dawn. Yeah, they, they crow can make all day long. long. Yeah, all day long. So um, they can be a bit annoying. And that's, the, I mean, they're really the, igno- the annoying part of, a, of having chickens on site. Otherwise, yeah. if they're in a pen, they're fine. <clears throat> they can't be loose, though, because they become bear food. Well, I, are you referring to a Haverhill Street address recently, <laughs> last three weeks? Yeah, uh, well, Haverhill Street, Street everywhere. I, I heard mean, a rumor that there was a rooster... Sad to say, he's not coming down for breakfast. He was part of the uh, that Black Bear's dinner, um, the rampage of the Black Bear of the last few weeks. Yeah, no, actually, I was I was hearing them somewhere else. I forget where I was, and in the middle of the day, they'd be they'd be crowing, which is yeah. just uh, not a fun thing. So, um, so. I think I agree with Dave about the extra or Warren about the extra information needed, Danielle, on those other ones. Okay. Um, do we know when they're going before the uh, ZBA? Um, let's see what the applications say. And Kathy did say they were going to be in October, though, which I think is, I don't have it in front of me. When is the next meeting? Know if you have it, we but... should be October 4th is our next meeting. So they're going to be October 6th. There you go. Probably. I think that's what Kathy had said. They're going to be so she'll have she promised to get, get more if, as long as they provide it, get more information out to everyone. Right, right. Yeah, I don't see that one for uh, the other one for Main Street there. The 340 main is being withdrawn. Oh, it has. Okay. Yeah, it's, it, or yeah, it's. I don't know if it's in the process of being withdrawn or it's being withdrawn, but it's yeah, they're not expecting okay. them to go ahead. Because I, I didn't. There's nothing in the, in our stuff for that. Right. Yeah, that's in the description. Um, right. Like in, the, but not. You're right. It's not a folder, with information right now. All right. Oh, and it's that time of year the old stink bugs are finding their way into the houses. How did they do that? <laughs> We're always marveling at that. They are just nasty. It, it, they don't need much of a of an area, and they'll squeeze through whatever they can. So I'm I'm looking at one right here. Not, you, not your that, not your windows, Mister Hayden. Right, that you sell. Uh, I don't. I don't sell windows. I only repair windows. My house oh, okay. is full. Of, my house is full <laughs> of Anderson windows. Oh, except so not except I have <laughs> except I have three windows with air conditioners in them. So uh, there's little foam things in there, keeping the air oh, out, but not the little buggies because I know that's how they're coming in. <clears throat> so all right, so um, Danielle, is there anything else? You have a little. Uh... Well, she had a little thing on the MBTA, but I don't know how yeah. much of that. Yeah, I think. Want to get I, into? Yeah, I don't think we want to get into all that tonight either. Ryan's on the, on the on the road. I don't know how much I can absorb, anyways. Yeah, we um, can have a more in depth discussion at our next meeting. Um, it's nothing urgent. Um, <clears throat> we can share some ideas for ways we think we can comply, and I, I we can have a, a longer discussion about that next time. Yeah, I already picked your brain a little today too, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Some some ideas. I don't think it's going to be impossible for us to do. So. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah I'm good. glad to hear that because I don't want to lose the access to those grants. No, no. Right. No, we don't. I don't think the selectmen do either. Or the select board, excuse me. Um, so, do you have an administrator update? Five minutes. Um, yes, I have a few things, mostly dates. Um, so. The informational articles for town meeting, um, that's going to be, that meeting will be on a Wednesday, September 28th. Wednesdays are a little tough for me. I'm working on it. I'm hoping to be there. Um, 
but it's also a hybrid meeting if anyone wants to call in. Um, basically, it's not solely our article, it's the select board's article, but it's um, co-sponsored by the CPC. It's the one to allocate some money to uh, delineate wetlands and survey the properties in the affordable housing overlay district. Um, I'm working now on getting some quotes to just make sure we know an appropriate cost estimate um, for that for that meeting. Um, other than that, we don't have any other articles. So, um, but that night it, it will be Wednesday night. Just wanted to let I, you. I'm know. just as happy to just as happy to let them do that, but but it, <clears throat> it's redundant because if somebody goes to build on it, they're going to have to do it over again. So. <laughs> Of course they are. But, you know, if they want to do the due diligence and feel more comfortable. In fact, one of the engineers I spoke with today said he's pretty familiar with the Oakdale properties and has a feeling that once we get the information on that, we, we may end up backing away from that one. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. It, it may be helpful, you know. Well, I know the other Oakdale properties that abut that were difficult uh, yeah. for the uh, developers to build. So. Mr. Pierce, yeah, just imagine. on the comment about they'd have to do it again, are you referring to doing a survey again? Yeah, I mean, if you, if you, uh, if, if somebody, if a builder comes in and picks up that piece of property, even to build an affordable house and everything, they're going to have to start right out going through conservation again. It's going to have to go out and be, the delineation will have to happen. I, you know, unless, unless somebody's willing to accept a, a year old or longer delineation. You know, well, I mean, yeah, so, so I the think, whole thing again. Why you guys approved it though to go do? I mean, I wasn't at the meeting, and I don't think um, Mr. Carroll was. I I think, but you voted for. I I saw that. I read that in the meeting. I was kind of encouraged by that. But is that only Danielle to do? Like you mentioned, only a couple lots, or are you trying to get just pricing for all of them? It's to do the get, four. It, the four well, the that four were here. on the warrant last year. Um, okay. The select board just doesn't feel comfortable supporting going ahead with trying to develop them until we know that information. And to be honest, it is a way to help any developer. If Habitat does come along and is chosen as a developer, this is a help to them because they may now be given the information that, oh, look, don't bother pursuing this one or two properties. Um, it is, it is a way to support the development by, you know, a nonprofit that might not be well funded. And it is a way for us to help understand where those wetlands are. And then in the case of something like 57 Haverhill Street, some of the neighbors were really interested in seeing the town retain the wet area at the back. Well, if we have a surveyor and we have money to pay for an A&R plan, we can have lot lines shown you know, we can do an a &R that helps the town to retain right. property. I mean, it is true that timing wise, it's possible conservation may require some work to be done again, but possibly not. I mean, depending on the timing of all of this, um, it's possible they could go ahead with permitting and then hold on the building for a little bit. So I don't think it's a waste of money. I, I, I think it's a nice way to move yeah. forward together, but yeah, no, I mean, it could have been done the other way too. I, so what I think is, I don't think it's a waste of money. So I think it's, it's all good. Like you say, it could go either way, but you, you, the wetland flaggings are good for three years. Um, the, the group are doing the survey and stamping a survey is professional. It's a, PL, a PLC. So it's, it's that, that instrument can be turned over to the applicant or if, if it's a bid or whatever, you know, turned right over and used. It's not like if it's stamped by a Massachusetts licensed site surveyor, it's a usable instrument. It's not up for interpretation. Um, mm -hmm. And the conservation agent has, and, and usually is contacted to verify those flaggings. And in this case, since it has the, the connection with the town, we'll most likely have our agent definitely present for the flagging or to go down and confirm them. That's all, they just go down and confirm them. And then the surveyor picks them up electronically and represents them on the drawing. So. I think yeah. I think it's good. It's like a three year. It's a three year instrument. But you're right, Warren. After three years, you know, it would it's all well, gone there's again. Nothing, there's nothing negative about it, Dave. I mean, there's nothing negative about it. It's just going to be redundant because, in true point of fact, you know, tomorrow the the Fed's going to raise the interest rate by three quarters of a point, and then not too long after that, they're going to do that again, as near as I can tell. And so, the impetus to build is going to be, go away. So it could be much longer than the three years before somebody actually yeah. builds there. And that's you're, and that and that's why I said right. that. All right, right that's, about, that's something that's yeah. beyond our purview, and we can't do yeah. anything yeah. about that. So what's that's next, right. Danielle? Uh, so I said there's nothing negative about it, so that's fine. No, I don't, don't take it that way. And I think you're right. Actually, your last comment is spot on. 
I mean, I do think that our goal is to find a nonprofit housing developer and not someone who's interested in mortgaging, you know, they're not interested in making a profit necessarily from it. They're interested in, you know, developing it for um, someone to being able, being able to build affordable may, may be something that will come along in the future, but I don't think it's in the near future. Okay. All right, Danielle, what else? Um, let's see. Um, oh, I do want to ask you if you want to have a meeting on October 4th, it will be the day after town meeting. Mm -hmm. um, we have public hearing, we have a public hearing opening for Park Street on October 20th. I also have um, consultants coming in on the 20th to talk to us about the Main Street corridor study. Um, I think we're fine to, because that meeting is a little bit busy now. Um, I think we're fine to put up the ADU discussion maybe for one more session. Um, we can do an MBTA communities update because those deadlines are coming up faster. Um, and so that's what we have coming on the horizon. So I just wanted to ask you, given the other stuff we have going on, would you prefer to have a meeting scheduled on the fourth or not? I was thinking maybe uh, uh, we could do a fourth and then do the, the basically a workshop meeting. So that would not be like the um, let me look at the dates. If we did, if we did October fourth, okay. But but like a workshop, yeah. Because we're going to have all our public hearings on the twentieth. Okay, we have one saying? public hearing on the twentieth. One public hearing on the twentieth. What else do you have on the twentieth? Um, presentation by the traffic consultant who did the corridor study for Route Twenty Eight. Okay, and that's it. That's that's it for now. <clears throat> the okay. Communities discussion so, can be on. Whenever you, I'm, I'm thinking we do that on the on the fourth. Okay. Let's get it done because we keep pushing it, okay. um, and, and and suddenly we're going to be late. We don't want to be late on this. Okay. Um, and then what was the other discussion? Uh, ADUs. ADUs, yeah. Um, so we could maybe do both of those in an hour and a half, and we okay. get out by nine o'clock. Okay. And if we need to, only if we need to, we'll do a public hearing. If you know what I'm saying. Okay. I, I, I can't see what else would come along. The only thing that would come along that would push us that hard would be um, would be a uh, uh, and as right, you know, an A and R, an A and R. Okay. And maybe, maybe comments on ZBA, you know, kind of stuff. Just because yeah, they're that, all yeah. you know they're meeting, and so right can, that, that kind of thing is fine, David. Add, we add that oh, yeah. in, but we'll do right. that quickly. You know, we we want to we want to get that done, get through it. You know, and and just so we can get in, get out, because we'll be there. You know, we'll be the night before. We'll be till eleven o'clock at least, probably eleven thirty, uh, <clears throat> depending on how efficient our select board is. Also, I was going to invite Jerry to the meeting, and I don't know. I'll ask him about October fourth if he can. I think that he should be at our next meeting about ADUs. I think that's kind of where we are in that. Okay. Session. So, yeah. you know, depending on whether he can make that meeting, we could always do that one on another date. Yeah, that one that one isn't as, as time sensitive as the MBTA the M, MTA yeah. one or whatever okay. it is, All right. um, because that there is a date on that, right. and and we don't want to miss that date because if we miss that date, then we're we're in trouble, or we could be in trouble. Well, what for the MBTA? Yeah, yeah. Well, well I think we have <clears throat> two years to respond to. Uh... Well, we have to submit a few things first. So the end of December, we have to just let them know we're not in compliance, which is easy. Um, the end of January, we have to let them know what our action and action plan is. Now, they're not going to hold us to that action plan. We have to submit something, though. But by then, we want to have a good idea of what our approach is going to be. And so we'll talk that through. Um, and I think we also want to be requesting technical assistance because they'll give us help um, to, to figure out what changes we need to make and how this is all going to work. Um, so okay. those deadlines are, you know, coming up. Uh, the technical assistance comes from them and we present kind of what we talked about and they say, okay, we'll just change this and it's good. That, that'd be good because yeah, that'd be good. They'll tell us how that'd be fine. Up. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that would like be good. Yeah. Yep. But we got we, we to gotta get informed about it and get it up to speed so that it, we don't want to slam Danielle in the last five minutes to get everything done yep. because, no, you know. <clears throat> we have... The action plan is the, is the, it'll take some thought um, and that's due at the end of January, but the actual carrying that out, the town meeting votes don't have to take place until, you know, we have another, I think, I forgot, it's 
end of 2024, I think we have. Okay. So we have time on that. But I think we're also going to need to be sure we're communicating with the select board because it's something that the town submits. So we were submitting this action plan on behalf of the town. So we want to make sure right. everyone's on the same page and in agreement about how we want to approach it. So, yeah. so I, I think that's a good idea. Let's so let's go with 10-4. We'll do basically a workshop. Yep. Okay. Um, you know, ZBA stuff, um, any, any minutes that we need to approve okay. your, your update of what's going on in town. All right. Uh, if we haven't got it the night before, um, we could do it that night. Okay. All right. All right. That sounds good. good. Anything else? Um, one other thing. I'm going to be going out to Shailene tomorrow with Dave Giangrande. Um, after the uh-huh. rain over the weekend, I did hear from one of the abutters that the water was streaming a little bit more than it needed to be. Excuse me. Um, so... The water was definitely coming over and around the, the retaining wall down there and going onto the abutting property. And when Dave reviewed the video of it, of it he said that's that's it's more water than should be there. So I'm gonna be going Which, out and meeting uh, the neighbor. It's the Doyle property um, with okay. uh, Dave Murray, and we're just we're gonna take a look at what what needs to be done over there because it's got to be mitigated in some way. So all right. Just want to let you know, because Chris, I know you had been out there very recently. Right, right. Out there with Dave recently. I mean, we keep on, you know, looking at this stuff. And... Those roof tra- those roof drains are not roof draining. It may help that area because that's right there. True. Yes, yes. Those, that's a lot of water coming right I, but down. We're on, I think we're on the other side. The, you're talking about the um, the property, the larger property closer to the I think the 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 problem area is coming from it's the still site from the other under house. development right now, the newer oh, house. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And so it's, it's so it's coming down that wall. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then it and it dead ends into nothing, which is crazy. It, well, where we'll see what you know. Yeah. Okay. What's all right? <clears throat> in there. So I just wanted to let you know. Um, and that's that's about it for updates. Um, okay. Town meeting yeah. October third. And uh, I, I, I should have, we should have more of a uh, sewer presentation coming up for, for you guys soon. I'm just waiting on when that's going to be. I, I heard uh, some presentation to the, the select board last Friday um, morning, and um, they're going to be rolling out the public sessions uh, soon. And I'll, I'll keep you updated on that as soon as that's, that gets going. So. All right. We have a date for Jeremiah number two. On number three, <laughs> November <laughs> two date. November, okay. All right, so you still got a month and a half to go. <laughs> yeah, it might come. I I'm guessing. <clears throat> so I we have well, to be our toes. Yeah, that's what I figured. I'm gonna sign off here. I can get back to work. All right, thank you, Warren, for dropping in. Okay. Yep. See Thanks, Warren. Take care. Take uh, care, all. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. So I think we're done, right, Danielle? Yeah. All right, Ryan, you're good to go, buddy. We can get rid of your green phone there. Make it a red one. <laughs> all right. Thanks, bud. <laughs> you're welcome. Thanks for dropping in. <clears throat> Jeremiah and uh, David, thank you. And See you. Thank you, Chris. Hopefully you at better. town meeting. I'll be there. Yeah. I know Danielle will be there. David will be there. Yep. We're going to do a, any extra meeting, Danielle. I don't think we need one, do we? I don't think we do. Unless, oh, I've, I actually didn't even think of it. If you want me to schedule one before a town meeting, I can, but I, I didn't have what do we need if, What do we need it for? I mean, unless I have we have to do you. something for the, yeah. you know, if the, 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 select, if the selectmen want to uh, share something with us before time that we can all read it about their about the the articles that they're placing for uh engineering um i'm sorry say again chris that the article that we're co-sponsoring with the selectmen the select yeah. board yeah um if they have any information they can share with us in writing that would be good then we don't really have to have a meeting we can just read it yeah, I mean <laughs> i doubt that they're gonna have much to share with us i think i've kind of been tasked with figuring out how much it costs <laughs> 
So <laughs> that's going to be the information as far as I know. Uh, but if there's anything uh, more on uh, it, I'll, right, I'll well, let you know. When you get that, share that with us, yes, please. Yes, yes, <laughs> I will definitely do that. All right. Okay. And everybody stay safe and uh, healthy. All right, you too. Thanks, Thank you. All right, good night, everyone. Yep. Night. Thank you.